Hey everyone, this is Matt from Smart Online Tutoring and today we're looking at how to get yourself set up with a PayPal account. Now PayPal is internationally recognized and it's a great way to receive money online on your website for your tutoring lessons. So to get started we come over to the right hand corner and click the sign up button and this will then give you two options, personal or business account. So choose the business account and click continue and then add your business email address here. This will then take you to the personal details page where you need to choose password, add your name and address, read the terms and conditions and agree with those before confirming. When you click continue then you will need to add some more information about your business. So first of all the business type so for example sole trader by the way if you're not sure you can just hover over here and it states that if you're a self-employed and working under your own name please select sole trader if you're not registered as a business select individual so then you can add your business category for example education and a subcategory for example vocational and trade schools you can also add in your url so the the address of your website if you have one set up and then click continue. So I'm going to provide my nationality which is already United Kingdom, my date of birth and then confirm my home address by clicking continue. Now it's time to set up your account and click on this option here that says account setup and start by confirming your email address. This is important you'll need to do this to accept payments. So I signed up with a Gmail account, which means I can just go to my Gmail and confirm the, the email. When you click the confirm button in your email that you received from PayPal, you'll then be asked to enter the password. This is your new password that you created for PayPal and then click confirm email address. This will then return you to the setup page and we can again click on account setup and we can see that the email address has been confirmed. Now we can move on to add your bank account. This means that we can accept money and transfer it directly to our bank account via PayPal. So click the add your bank account button and then it's a case of adding in your sort code and account number here. After submitting your bank account details you'll then be asked to confirm your bank account. You can, you can do that by checking your bank account now via online, mobile or telephone banking to find the confirmation code. If you're not sure what the code looks like, you can hover over here and it just demonstrates that it'll be a four digit code next to something that says PayPal code and you'll have a deposit of one pence. So here you then add the four digit code when you can see it on your bank account and then click confirm. If you've entered in the correct four digit code on your bank account then you will see this page here which says that your bank account has now been added and congratulations this will become your primary payment method. So now once that's been completed we can click go to my account And now your bank account is linked to your PayPal account and you can start receiving money on your online tutoring website. When a student does make a payment, it will show up here on recent activity and also on the available money that you have. To transfer the money from your PayPal account into your bank account, simply click this button here that says withdraw money, type in the amount that you want to withdraw up to the maximum that you have available and click confirm. It doesn't cost any money to transfer money from your PayPal account to your bank account. And now you're ready to get PayPal set up on your website.